Irish rock supergroup U2, former heavyweight world champion Muhammad Ali, and the movie star Arnold Schwarzenegger appeared for the colourful display of music, dance and pageantry in Dublin's Croke Park Stadium to kick off a week of sporting events for 7,000 mentally disabled athletes from 160 countries. They were joining a host of leading sportsmen, politicians and dignitaries toasting the start of the games in Dublin. Some 75,000 spectators were making their way across the Irish capital to see the opening ceremony at Croke Park Stadium. The athletes come from countries which included trouble spots like Afghanistan and Iraq, whose team received a particularly boisterous welcome and will compete in sports ranging from soccer to powerlifting and roller skating. The 11th edition of the 35-year-old Games is being held for the first time outside the United States in an attempt to broaden the appeal of the event, which intends to change the way people suffering from mental disabilities are viewed around the world. It is wonderful to be here at the greatest opening ceremony of the Special Olympics history. Congratulations. The founder of the Games, Eunice Kennedy Schreiber, said he'd been impressed by the enthusiasm shown throughout Europe as a Special Olympics torch was born 15,000 kilometers through 20 European cities, arriving for the opening ceremony, where it was used to light a cauldron that will burn throughout the Games. At least 30,000 Irish volunteered for the Games to help with everything, from hosting the athletes to serving as ushers for the opening ceremony at the Open Air Stadium. Founded by Eunice Kennedy Shriver more than 30 years ago, the Special Olympics is now active in more than 160 countries throughout the world. The games are for people with learning disabilities and it gives them an opportunity to participate in a major sporting event and demonstrate their sporting skills. Since 1968, the organization created by the member of late US President John Kennedy Plan has supported projects to give people with learning disabilities opportunities to develop fitness, demonstrate courage and experience joy. During 10 days, hundreds of athletes compete in many events, from soccer to handball and weightlifting. Afghanistan were late entries into the Games after Senegal pulled out due to financial and bureaucratic problems. A delegation from Iraq also managed to make the trip to Ireland despite the problems of the post-war situation in their country. Their group of eight athletes took part at table tennis and athletics and the men's 400 meters division 25. For many of the athletes, it was their first time outside their own countries and away from their families. The Games gave them a unique opportunity to experience achievement and enjoyment and helped to increase awareness of people with learning disabilities and their potential.